Well, guys, I paused the video actually and did some tweaks. Uh, um, yeah, to the script, just created like uh, just a bigger file, uh, which is what is it? The image dot file, a little bit bigger, make it more uh, to the actual uh, scenario, uh, like the real world scenario. Uh, just I felt the other one is too small, and uh, yeah, and also fix some stuff here. I had an issue. Uh, I was actually looking inside the dictionary, which will always be true since we're looping with the keys of the dictionary. Uh, just a couple of corrections I did. Also, like I was getting the iOS, which is not actually what I want. I want the image name inside the copy file. Uh, I'm gonna actually remove the uh, I remove the section to uh, make it uh, less noisy uh, and for it to make be shorter. All right. So after copying the image and uh, getting the this output, uh, this is actually we don't need to get this. The way we're gonna verify is something much better. Uh, out equal. So we're gonna actually compare the MD5 of the device. So what we're gonna do is verify MD5. Let's see what this is gonna give us. All right, so we got the MD5, and now we need to just clean the output just to get the MD5 output. So the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna use regex. So this is just a one minor if condition just for it not to generate error if it doesn't find the MD5. Let's study on it. Here what we're gonna do is so if we define how is equal to Actually, I'm going to put all this inside the function. This only will check the MD5 of the switch. And let's grab this and create a new function called
So yeah, I did this condition just if we get an unknown or uh, and the condition that we just did before, got before here or same like that. So then let's uh, run it again with this function. So we're in a good place. I want to do a couple of uh, stuff too. I want to read the copy section. I want to create like its own uh, function. So we would. Uh... Also make a condition like if it doesn't find the iOS uh, the version of the switch inside the dictionary, so we have to create a boolean here. By the way, this doesn't have to be this value, it could be just anything in the show version if you want to put like the... You could put the IS or the device type, so... Alright, so let's see. Let's then do a couple of tests. So let's do another thing. Now let's check like if it's gonna identify the <coughs> if it's which the type is not inside the dictionary. Alright, that's good. The second thing. Let's uh, change the MD5. Alright, so it did identify that. Uh, I just want to do something. Uh, I'm gonna actually change the files to the small ones, just uh, because now I'm gonna do try to do the retry, and I don't want to consume uh, waste a lot of time doing so. Name it with a B just uh, for it not to be picked. Okay, so this is the one before. Okay, 
those on much smaller files, which will execute a lot faster. Yeah, good. Um, so what, now what we need to do is actually we have to create like a loop to actually uh, to copy the file multiple times. At the same time, we don't want to exceed the retry count. So um, yeah, so we need to do like a while loop, I would say, uh, that will perform this. All right, so let's do, uh, uh, actually we could do a for loop with a break also. Uh, that's a while, it's easier, all right? So, and here we verify and define. Uh, okay, if we have the correct, oh, actually, we do not have the correct MD5. Let's perform those steps again. But at the same time, um, the way we need to do it, I don't need that anymore. Uh, the way we need to do it is also we need to create a, a retry count. Retry count is so we're gonna retry let's say three times and we'll state an increment equal to uh, one Right, so the first time it goes in, it's, it's one, second time it goes in, it's two, and actually this is it's gonna do that like uh, multiple times. So the way we could do it actually, uh, we could remove this, just to, to make it uh, nicer looking, and here we could say uh, both. Right, so it's definitely gonna uh, go into that, so then we, we do it three times exactly. Let's see. This is a lab, so we can do whatever we want. But I just print, yeah, print. Test it is, is by messing the modify x and x. Right. So, so yeah. Have an infinite loop. Let's see what I did wrong. I'm sure it's uh, we need the foundation, but just uh, because if we remove it the second time, it will actually not go into the else condition, uh, the if condition and it's end up in the else, which kind of gives us the error which we don't need. Exactly as expected. 
the uh, I think we're good for this uh, video. Um, so this is the script. We actually, after getting this whole version, we're checking the uh, checking the dictionary that we have with the different types of the switches that we have, and based on the type, we're copying the image name slash uh, MD5 to verify that MD5 is correct. Uh, we're retrying three times, so we're creating a while loop. In case it fails three times, it will print you this error. If it's it copies properly, it will move on and uh, tell you we're good. And actually, you know what? Here, let's do else. Which is clear. I'm sure it's going to work in this part. Okay guys, so this is the code. Thank you for uh, bearing with me. Um, I'll see you in the next video where we're going to introduce multi-threading to this, which makes it interesting. We might have to change a couple of things. Thank you. Bye.